A few days after his DWI arrest in the Hamptons, Justin Timberlake thanked his fans at a concert for making his life so special. The Grammy winner took a minute between songs on Saturday, June 22 at Chicago's United Center, during his most recent Forget Tomorrow World Tour, to thank his supporters, both young and old, and the fellowship and the love of what is almost three decades together. Almost five days after being arrested in Sag Harbor, New York for driving while inebriated or impaired, Timberlake spoke to his fan following. Regarding his 22 concerts thus far, the 43-year-old selfish singer remarked, this tour is just something that keeps watching over me, more so on this tour than any other. And that's the fact that most of us who are present in this room and stadium tonight grew up together. I get so many of you saying, I grew up with you, man. I want each and every one of you to know I've grown up with you, he continued. You have been such a big and beautiful part of my life and sometimes I can't find the words to show my gratitude that you guys just keep riding with me and riding with me. Regardless of when fans first became interested in his music, the musician continued, saying that they were here right now and I just want to say you guys keep loving me and coming back and spending and sharing this experience with me. This could have been during the NSYNC days or later on in his solo career. And from the bottom of my heart, I want you to know that until I'm somewhere off this earth, I will never forget each and every one of you," Timberlake stated. You added such magic to my life. Additionally, you have shown us love tonight in Chicago. The Like I Love You singer's newest event followed his Friday, June 21st appearance in the same arena, and both represented his first set of gigs since his DWI arrest. He began the Friday performance by telling the audience, it's been a tough week, in a brief speech that was followed by his 2024 smash song Selfish. I know sometimes I'm hard to love, but you keep on loving me and I love you right back, he said. The pop musician and actor was observed operating a 2025 BMW southbound on Madison Street, failing to stop at a duly posted stop sign and failing to maintain his lane of travel in the early hours of that day, according to a statement released by the Sag Harbor Police Department on Tuesday, June 18. Upon determining that he was operating his vehicle in an intoxicated condition, he was taken into custody, processed, and detained until his arraignment the following morning. Afterward, he was released. Get the best of people, from celebrity news to gripping human interest stories, sent straight to your inbox by subscribing to their free daily newsletter. Timberlake, who was cited with two penalties for violating a stop sign and failure to remain in lane and with one count DWI, told the arresting officer, I had one martini and I followed my friends home, according to his arrest report, which was obtained by People. Soon after, someone close to Timberlake revealed to People that the singer had been hanging out with friends at the American Hotel on June 18 when he was arrested. Additionally, the insider stated, nobody was hurt. He will have a lot to say when the time is right, according to Edward Burke Jr., his lawyer, who made the following statement to People on Wednesday, June 19, Mr. Burke looks forward to vigorously defending Mr. Timberlake against these allegations. He's waiting on the DA's office to provide him with the complete discovery. Later in the week, a source informed people that Timberlake will be extending his tour. They said, it's business as usual for him. The tour is continuing as planned. The selfish singer is scheduled to return to court on July 26, but people has discovered that the hearing will take place virtually. Timberlake's attorney will attend in his place while he continues his tour, which begins on July 26 with a gig in Krakow, Poland. Prior to that, Timberlake will make two appearances in New York City on Tuesday, June 25, and Wednesday, June 26, before traveling to Boston, Baltimore, and other domestic locations.